Hello. Now today I will show you how to do a simple overhead line drawing. Now this is mainly for railway projects. Now in this example I will put few STCs and few TTCs. Now you can see here I have two tracks. I will add some on the right and some on the left. And also I will add structure boxes and I will add 2D symbols and 3D symbols. Now to start with, I'll go to my Smart Oily tools. Now this is tool is available for free. I'll put the link on this video below. So to start with, I'm going to place a few over there. Maybe I'll put them like 40 meters spaced out. So go to home and within placement, you'll find this construct line on active angle. I will click that and I will make mine 90 degrees and you can my request is 2.5 okay so to begin with I will add one there so you can see I have one line here and also I will add one there as well now I'm gonna do a few copies of those lines so to copy go to array and along the path I want by distance and of 40 now depending on your project this might be different so I want to copy this and using this line and just move this around you can see lines there so I have some here and I'll do something for that I want to copy that on this as a line being like that and I have some there good so now you can see I have four lines there and four lines so you can see one there one there and the distance between there and there is 2.5 this is mainly called the recourse so I click there, go to properties, you'll see um, the length is 2.5, exact. Open this one here, this should open this tool, click start, you should get token like that, then close, and now open the tool as well. So now I will add that 2D symbol first. So for 2D symbols, I want to do pick up the layout cells, and I'll do STC, good. To search, so this is the um, the cell, the symbol for two D looks like this. And now, I want to open it, but also I want this to be also to face that way, so it should be rotated. So click that there. Uh, you can get there the angle of the rotation. So I'll copy that there and paste in this box here for angle. Okay. Now once you're happy, then my point of insertion it is should be from here. So click that and click this point here and then just say insert. Okay, now you can see I have my symbol like that. So next part I want, I want the box. So I'll type BOX like that to search again. So the box I want is the structure box, which is that one. So click that, then do insert here. So now I have the box. Also, the last thing I want, I actually want the 3D cell. So I'll go. UKMS and then just type STC and search. Now I want a seven meter STC, so it should be this one here. Pick point and then do insert. Now here you have everything you need. So for now I want to tidy up everything. So let me close this up. Uh, come to join aids and then the ACS. So what I'll do, click here and then do by points. So what I like to do is to make this my, my X and Y. So click this corner here, use that as your X and this as your Y. And then what you can do now, make sure this is active and then go for top view like that top. So now everything now it looks simple. And then I will um, select the structure box here um, and drag it down. So come to home again and move. So. I'll move it by give it exact points. So what I'll do is I'll do 20. That looks fine. And you could do any anything you want. So this for me, I want to keep it the same. So and then also this two two D symbol they should be into um, they should go to zero zero. So go to origin here, find the Z and for both make them zero because this is 2D. Good. So now if you go to 3D, you'll see what you have here. Uh, you already have your your 2D symbols and your 3D cells. Okay, now it looks a bit off. It should be actually it should be there. Now to adjust this, let me see that level here. It is uh, 
78.066. Maybe it's easy if we just copy the whole thing. So let me just copy like that and then click here, make it the same. Now, depending on the, again, on the, like on the requirement, sometimes you might be above or below depending on the ground condition. But now you can see I have a simple STC down there. There's one more thing. If you want to change this text here, depending on the your structure ID. So let me go first, go for top view to keep it simple and just um, double click here. Good. So normally TTC covers two tracks. So I'll just need this line here to do my TTC. Same process. So open the, the tool like that. So go to layout, go TTC, and then search. So that's a symbol there. Again, you will need to look at that rotation. So I'm gonna click that. So this one is different because it's facing that direction. So you can see the direction there. So I'm gonna copy that and put on the angle like that. And again, so pick position. So I'm gonna say, that's my position. Then I'm gonna say insert. So now we have that. So that covers that side. Just add the fence, um, that point there, and then go to, I'll move the side a bit, come to stretch, and then use fence. Yeah, so I'm gonna click that, make it a bit longer. So I'll leave it there for now, that should be fine. Now we have our 2D, but we also need our structure box. So just gonna type box here, B O X, do a search. So that's the one I want. Uh, click insert. So you have everything you need here, the angle. So just do insert. Now you have the box. You can see it is facing that way. I think we need to make it face like that because now depending on your drawing, if it's facing up or down. So, but anyway, I picked that one later. For now, let's add the 3D. So I'll do TTC and I will choose my same range. I will say I want the mass first. So I'm gonna say search. I'm gonna go with seven meters. So you can see seven zero there. Again, pick position. So I'm gonna keep it the same. I'm not gonna click here anyway. Then I'm gonna say insert. Then you can see you already have your, your mass there. I'm gonna do same thing for the boom, uh, search. So now depending on the length here, I'm gonna go, so if you don't know the length, you can maybe do a measurement. So to get a rough idea, go to analyze here, you can do measure distance. It's about 9.5-ish, roughly. I'm gonna go with 9.8, like that. So now we know our mast is seven meters. I'm gonna add seven to that, 85. Okay, I'm gonna do insert. So now we have a boom here. So now it might need some tidying up, so I will, Close this up for now. Go to drawing eight. Do this one again, and then do your defined by points. So same thing here. Um, that's be my y, my x, and that's my y direction. Then I will do top view. Go for top like that. So I'm gonna pull this a bit down. So let me just pull that a bit lower. I will pull it down by twenty. Okay, to tidy up the 3D, I will select that and that together. Okay, and then right click, then do display set. Everything will be gone. So click that, hit enter to lock your, your axis. And then I'm gonna click there and then go up a bit, lock it, then come down like that. If I do asymmetric, you'll see a nice 3D cell like that. So again, if you're happy with everything, right click and then display clear. And now if I do my asymmetric, we'll see I have my um, my 2D of that's still there. So let me give it a zero again. That's good. So you can see that's my STC, that's the box, that's the symbol, and my TTC, that's the box, uh, that's the box, that's the symbol. And I have my 3D there as well. So if I do, you can see now that's very easy. You can do both 2D and 3D. Thank you very much.